Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Retro Oblivion. Today we're going to review the Pac-Man Galaga Countercade by Arcade 1UP. This thing features a light-up marquee, headphone jack, and comes with four games. Let's check it out. What makes this countercade very interesting is that they split the art on this countercade. Like half of the art on this side is Galaga, and on the other side, right here, it's Pac-Man. Very unique. And it does have four games, Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Galaga, and Galaxian. Let's go ahead and open it up, get it plugged in, and check out some gameplay. So right out of the box, it comes with the power cord and the owner's manual. Let's check out some of the art. Okay, on this side, we have Pac-Man. We have the back. And then on the other side of the panel, we have Galaga. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool art, all glossy. Very nice. There's nothing right there in the front. But as you can see, the speaker is right there in the front. That's what the panel looks like. Does have a headphone jack. And this does come with a light and marquee. So let's go ahead and plug it up and play some games. Pretty nice light on the marquee. All right, let's go ahead and play some games. All right, we have Pac-Man. Let me go ahead and switch off and play another game. I think we all pretty much know what Pac-Man is. Galaxian. Man, I suck at this. <laughs> I need a lot of practice. Galica? All right, let's go ahead and check out another one. Okay, and the last game is Pac-Mania.
Okay, let's go ahead and take a little peek inside. There you see the speaker right in the front. Then we have the SD card slot, the marquee power, USB, pretty much the same as the other countercades. It's always nice to take a look inside. Okay, my final thoughts on this countercade is that it's all right. You know, I could dig it. It goes good with my collection. The screen isn't as good as the two-player countercades. Still got the light and marquee, headphone jack. Not really sure, you know, how much that's worth to you. The games are the same as previous countercades. Uh, it does tend to get a little boring playing the same old Pac-Man and Galaga. Uh, it would have been nice to have seen some different type of games. The Pac-Mania is a lot of fun. I, I like that. I've never played that game before. So at least there's one game that I can play on this. But um, if you ask me, I still think the two-player countercades are probably going to be your best bet for the money. And for the collectability on them. But that's all I have for you folks today. If you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, just leave it down below, and I will see you on the next show.